All right, welcome back to another SVS countermeasure training uh, video series on x-ray systems. Uh, this one's going to be a little quick one. We're going to teach you about single generator x-ray systems and how one side of the belt is actually more efficient than the other. And the reason for this is because of most systems that are out there today, they are changing this. You are seeing manufacturers get away from this. But the majority of systems that are out there today, the generator is on one side of the system and it's shooting at an angle across into the L-shaped detector board. What happens when they do this, it causes the, the items that are closest to the generator to appear larger in the image. So that means that one side of your belt, you're gonna get a larger, better image than the side that's away from the generator. Now, how do you figure that out? Well, if you don't know, then the easiest way is to take something and run it through the X-ray system on one side of the belt and the other, and you'll be able to see right away which side is gonna provide you the largest and best image, okay? So we'll do that now. So we've got a bag that we're gonna put on the belt. I'm gonna take it and pull it all the way to this side, okay, and run it through first. And we'll take a look at what image we got. Now again, this is a Smith's Detection 6046SI. Um, we did get an automatic detection. This is a false alarm on the actual uh, thermos there. There is no threat in there, so don't be freaking out. Um, so we'll move it out, we'll move this over to the other side of the belt, we'll run it again and we'll let you compare the two images to see which one's going to give you the better image. So right away we can see that this one is much larger than this one, so we've got a better overall image. We can see how the cell phone over here is kind of squished, so what happens the farther you get away from the belt, it has this like fishbowl effect where it starts squishing all the items and they become much more difficult to actually look at based on shape and do x-ray image interpretation. Now the problem is, is most of us are letting those people put their bag on the belt. Nothing's stopping you from telling them or putting a sign on there saying, hey, put your bag as far as you can to the side. Now there's a very important reason other than the size of the image that you want to do this. If you're using any type of automatic detection, whether it's explosive detection, which draws the red box around explosives, or you're using some sort of high density alert to, to alarm on things like handguns, pipe bombs, or hand grenades, you need to make sure that it's gonna work on all sides of the belt. Because what happens is, is when you put uh, these items in different locations on the belt, because of that shrinkage, you're actually reducing the size that the system is gonna see. And because all of these detection algorithms work on a size discrimination, AKA threat mass, that they're looking for a specific pixel range uh, that falls within the window of ZEF and density that they're looking for. And if it doesn't fall within that pixel range, it's not going to alarm. So I'm gonna show you perfectly here. This is what we call Aceto or Delrin. This is a perfect uh, explosive test object. Um, the problem is you're probably going to have to get it about one inch thick because uh, if you get it any thinner than that, it's probably not going to work on any of the systems because they've developed their threat mass around one inch thick, which is stupid. Okay, um, so this one has a ZEF of around 7, 6.97, so it's right in the window where we see organic explosives. It's also got a density of about 1.41 grams per cubic centimeter, which is right where you see almost all your subtexts, your subtex H, 1A, um, 10, all those different simtexes that are out there, plastic explosives. So we're going to take this and we're going to run it through the system closest to the generator, which should be the largest. So we're going to get the biggest pixel sample size, so the system should be able to alarm to it. Running on the generator side. And bam, we've got automatic detection. Now this applies to high density alert too, because it, use, it uses the same thing. It has a pixel area that's centimeter squared that it's looking for that absorption level uh, before it's actually gonna draw the purple box. The Smiths, that's how they do it. Um, rapid scan flashes it in a pink magenta. Oh my God, rapid scan, that's so horrible. Everybody I talk to hates that. So just go to a yellow box or something that peak flashing is the worst crap I've ever seen in my entire life. Stop doing that. Um, so it worked. Let's move it to the middle of the belt. 
which theoretically is moving it away from the generator, meaning it's going to get smaller. The farther you get away from the generator, the smaller the item's going to become. We still got a red box, so the automatic detection is still working. So you can obviously see that this one is smaller than that one. So the pixel range is getting smaller, but the algorithm is still, it's still within the limits to get it. All right, so now we're going to move it all the way over to the farthest point away from the generator. We'll run it through and we'll see what happens. So in this scenario, it didn't alarm, okay? So this is why on a single generator x-ray system, you need to make sure you know which side of the belt is going to provide you the optimum imaging and detection capability, okay? So again, um, when I post these videos on LinkedIn, you guys have got the million dollar CT machine, which is maybe 5% of everybody running an x-ray has the CT machines, okay? Not everybody has those. Not everybody has that, oh my God, $1.5 million machine. 90% of the people out there running checkpoint security have a single or dual generator x-ray system. So, you know, I, I love your comments about, oh, you should go to this machine. Well, not everybody's got $1.5 million, brother, all right? I don't, and 90% of everybody else don't either. They've got these machines, so that's why I'm teaching them how to use them. So, again, this gives you a good idea on these systems to figure out if you do have this. A lot of the systems are moving the generator more to the center, so you don't get this effect as much, which is a good thing. Um, but most systems out there, if it's a single generator x-ray system, um, even if it's a dual generator, you're going to still have sweet spots on there that are going to give you the better image based on belt placement, how you place the bag on the belt. I hope this helped, um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.